Hi beautiful people, thank you for tuning in. My name is Lucy and today we are going to see a foraging book by John Lewis Temple. It's the essential guide to free wild food and uh, John is a real expert. He used to live uh, one year solely on uh, what he could forage himself. So, wow, that's something. So firstly, when I opened the book, I was really disappointed. I was almost wiping my tears off. Well, why? There are no pictures. <laughs> Guys, there are no pictures. Only, only here. And, uh, you know, it, uh, it sort of uh, put me off a bit. But then I was thinking, okay, let's read the book. And uh, after all, uh, I really like this book. And uh, why is this? So basically, it's nicely split into sections. And uh, you've got also the town bits. You can uh, forage in town. So uh, as mentioned before, this is not uh, something uh, only for people living uh, in the woods and stuff like that. So everybody can forage everywhere. What you've got, uh, I would say it's the usual for foraging book. Why eat, why eat it, uh, what you need to know, children and foraging, because uh, I believe mo most of you have children and uh, you are thinking, is it safe? Is it not safe? How, you know, how we can introduce this? And then we've got the section, so we've got town, we, we, we've got the uh, hedgerow, we've got field, we've got wood, we've got the river and the stream, we've got also coast, the hill and the head, and surprise, surprise, we've got roadkill. i never seen this, this one before, so if you are really brave, uh, it was quite interesting section, I didn't know like the rules, what, what you can uh, pick up what you can pick up so uh, I don't think I would uh, I would go for the roadkill myself but uh, you know it's interesting to know the rules anyway at the back we've got wild food calendar and uh, wild food by type so let's have a look uh, let's see the wild food calendar if I can find it Okay, so here you don't have it mine, month one month, but you have it by quarters. So here it's like uh, January till March. Then we've got uh, April till June, July till September, and then October till December. And uh, wild food by type, it's really handy. Because maybe uh, you just want to focus on flowers, so you can see what flowers uh, you can pick up. Or maybe you just want to see the fruit, so you've got the fruit section, you've got the mushroom section, greens and vegetables, you've got herbs, roots, nuts and seeds, and the last one is uh, seaweed. And uh, how this is like structured, let's say for Hatborn, uh, we've got local names and uh, sometimes it's really funny because you don't know all the local names and stuff like that. So for Hatborn, uh, it's also called Maybash, May, Whitehorn, Bread and Cheese Tree, Azzy Tree, Fairy Thorn. You've got the season and uh, what you can uh, forage. Between March and April, you can uh, pick up the leaves. Uh, I haven't tried the leaves myself, but uh, next spring I really, really fancy to try some. And uh, you need to get it only in springtime because then they are too tough. And you can add it to salads and stuff like that. And uh, between September and October, you can pick up the berries, but uh, it really depends on the season. You know, the seasons can be a bit different. We can have really mild winter, so the berries you can find in November or December also. You can see also medical usage uh, in the past uh, and uh, 
some fo uh, folklore attached to it so this is really a uh, interesting one and uh, at the end uh, you've got the recipes let me read something uh, regarding uh, hot one as i mentioned you've got a uh, either the medical usage or you've got some uh, folklore attached to it. So there is a great deal for popular folklore attached to the hot one. It has long been uh, regarded as unlucky to bring hot one blossom into the house because it would cause death in the family. So no hot one blossom in your house. On the other hand, the plants have several Christian superstitions it was believed that hot one picked on Monday Thursday would stop the picker's house from being struck by lightning. This is quite a good one, right? At uh, Glastonbury, there is a hot one tree said to have sprouted from the staff of Joseph of uh, Arithmea. The miraculous thorn grew, always blossoming on Christmas Day. Well, so Glastonbury... Uh, folks, is that true? Can you let us know? Uh, more profoundly, girls used to bath their faces in hot worn dew on May Day morning in the belief that it would make them beautiful. So, watch this face. We are late in December. So, in May, shall I bath my face in a uh, had warned you to make me more beautiful well i can shoot some video in may and who knows maybe you won't recognize me the fair maid who the first of may goes to the field at the break of day and washes in dew from the hot one tree will ever after handsome be hoo -hoo. the hot one is also reputed to divine bad weather Many halves, many snuffs. So how was that? Quite good, right? And uh, at the back, you've got always a recipe, as I said. So what you can do uh, with it. Sometimes you've got few, sometimes you've got uh, one. It really depends. You've got also alcoholic beverages. It's another pen, you know, showing this uh, side, but joking aside. First impression was like, uh, oh my gosh, there are no pictures. I don't even want to read it. But how I actually work it out, uh, there are many plants and herbs and stuff like that. <clears throat> you might already know. And uh, if I wanted to double check something I wasn't sure about, how I work it out, I went to website uh, White Food UK. They've got a wonderful website uh, with pictures, with all the descriptions. And uh, for most of the plants, they've got also a YouTube uh, video, so you can see it in, uh, in the local area. I think it's quite different to see picture of the herb or plant and something is completely different if you see video in the native environment. I think you remember this uh, quite quicker you make the connections better so yes if you want to buy it or borrow from the library go for it and i would really suggest uh, you combine few foraging books if you are newbie because uh, every single book gives you something different even though they might be the same uh, plants you you always at least myself you always find something new but even though if they were some some plants every author is different and you might find different recipes which uh, will be more closer you know you would like to try sometimes somebody prefers like making uh, herbal teas uh, somebody you know prefer to make uh, alcohol from it somebody may uh, prefer it into the cooking I hope you find this useful. So oh, please uh, hit the like button, share with your friends and family, and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching. From my heart to your heart. Bye until next time.